Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, after you graduated, you immediately began to work at the hospital? Yes, I began in the radio immunoassay lab, and then I switched over to medical research. And then several years later, to the textile lab here at Forrester. Yes, it was quite a change. What a phenomenal story. I mean, a medical researcher who goes on to develop a fashion first. Science is full of stories like that, Mr. Simon. Some people start in one field, and later on, they distinguish themselves in another. Look at Madame Curie, Pasteur. I'd say you're in pretty good company with those folks. <laughs> well, I didn't really mean to compare myself with them. Well, still, I mean, this fabric is quite a breakthrough. You you've got to be thrilled with the results, to say the least. Yes, I'm happy. You're also very controlled. Tell me, how are you going to celebrate tonight? Well, I have a son at home, so I'm sure I'll probably go home and make some popcorn and drink root beer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure your husband will have something to say about that. Well, I've taken up enough of your time, Mrs. Forrester. Mm. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Mr. Forrester. Rupert, how are you doing? Congratulations. Thank you. Thank great, you very much. Great show. Thank you. I was just on my way over to, uh, to your father's office. Yes, he's waiting for you. Okay. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Ten in the morning sounds fine. Yes, Mr. Stone, I want to get moving on this divorce right away. Fine, I'll see you in the morning. And I'll see you right now. What she said to the reporter about tonight. I guess you meant that. Tonight? Popcorn and root beer with little Eric. <sighs> he hasn't seen his mommy all week. I haven't seen you all week either. Well, you're welcome to join us. Mm. Yeah, I think I better let him have you tonight. I'm sure he's more desperate than I am. I hope not. you've ever felt in your life and there's something wrong with you i feel pretty high rich but you could take me a lot higher
Hi. I'm heading home. You're actually going to let this day end? I know how special it's been for you, Eric. But not for you? Yes, it's been very special for me, too. <sighs> Look, I'm not saying this to be a downer for either one of us. I just think that I have to mention it so that it doesn't catch you by surprise. I've instructed my attorney to file for a divorce tomorrow. So, how was the interview with Simons? Didn't you just hear what I said? About filing for divorce in the morning? Sure. How did the interview go? It went just fine. He was very impressed with you. As were the writers from Women's Wear Daily and The Times and W. Not to mention the TV fellows. Eric, I asked you not to introduce me at the press conference today. Sorry about that. So why did you? Because I knew what you asked and what you wanted were two separate things. Wasn't the response incredible? Yes. Yes, it was amazing. I mean, did you expect anything that positive? Actually, no. No, I didn't. And I'll tell you something. If ever there was a media darling, <sighs> it's you. Thanks to you. You mustn't give me all the credit. I have to. None of this would have happened if you hadn't given me the encouragement, the opportunity. Well, I appreciate your saying that, but all I really did was give a very talented woman a chance to prove herself. And I appreciate your saying that. I appreciate so much about you, Eric. Much more than you will probably ever know. When I was up there on that podium, fielding those questions, I felt so proud. Like I've never felt before. And it's all because of you. My working at the lab was your idea. You created the job and you gave it to me. All these accolades should be for you. They should be writing about you, Eric. Oh, I imagine my name will get mentioned here. Next. 